What's happening, people? Low here. And I'm back. Today we're gonna get a voltage loss comparison between the uh, Sony VTC4 and the Sony VTC5A. It's not the 5, it's the 5A with a 2600 milliamperes. All right, a uh, few years back, I had a video uh, for the voltage comparison or volt voltage loss test between the uh, Sony VTC3, 4, and the 5, which is the VTC4 came out superior uh, on those three batteries. So tonight, we will have a test uh, for voltage loss between the 4, VTC4, and the VTC5A. <coughs> okay, you can agree to disagree with me on this one because I don't have any equipment or anything that will get the real rating or the real voltage loss or whatever. Uh, it's just how vapor vapor use it you know battery put in the mod vape all right so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be using a voltage meter and using a 0.12 ohm build <clears throat> years ago when i used to test uh, mods for their uh, voltage drop I always test it at 0.5 to 0.6 ohm but this time since nobody or most of the vapors now always wanted clouds uh, might as well get the voltage loss on these batteries on a 0.12 ohm sub ohm build okay I'm using a reckless mod by Phantom Vaporizer Philippines so first off Oh, by the way, these are brand new, okay? I, ha <clears throat> I haven't um, tried this yet. I haven't put it on, on a mod yet, only on the charger to fully charge it. So, so yeah, we'll be using uh, new batteries uh, on this uh, test. Also, each battery have no the same internal resistance. Pretty close, you know, all the VTC fours, but like I said, it's individually wrapped, assembled. So there's, there might be a few or a little bit discrepancies on, on these uh, batteries, like VTC fours, all VTC fours, but you know, you know, the, you know, the, you know what I'm saying? I mean, still, you're gonna get the, the, the base performance, right? So we'll try. First is the uh, VTC4. And by the way, all my uh, mech mods, if I'm using a mech mod, I always use, I only use VTC4. Sometimes I use different battery just, you know, just for the video to show it off, but I use Sony VTC4 mainly on my uh, Mac mods. So here we go. <clears throat> the VTC4 charge is 4.15. You can take notes so you don't forget and <clears throat> you don't have to watch the video over and over. So that's 4.15. On a 0.12 ohm load, the voltage loss on the VTC4 from 415 is what's that? 324. I'll take a note myself. So 415 less 3. 24 is 19.91 9 
volt loss. That's our BTC4. Now we're gonna be we're gonna let it cool a little bit. Take the BTC4 out. And let it cool a little bit. It's actually not bad. Here goes the VTC5A with a 25, 2600 milliampere. Oh, the charge on the uh, VTC5A is 418. 418 volts on a 0.12 ohm load the voltage loss on this VTC5 is wow look at that 333 340 let's put 333 so 5 8 0.85 volts there you go with more milliamperes, you get more voltage than the VTC4. Meaning, you get more power on the VTC5A a tiny bit versus the VTC4, okay? Like I said, before I end this video, you can agree to disagree with me on this one because I'm only testing it with a voltage meter. But like I said, just like a vapor will do, you take the battery, put it in the mud, vape away, which what I did, all right? So just for the recap, 4.91 volt loss on the VTC4. Let's write that down. VTC4, VTC5A. <clears throat> 0.91 volt loss on the VTC4 and 0.85 volt loss on the VTC5A. I think I'm gonna have to switch batteries from now on uh, on my Mac mods. All right, VTC5A. Well, thank you for watching. Until my next review, I will see you soon. And oh. Be safe out there and uh, have a happy Thanksgiving. Peace out.